Mortar Remains goes back many years. Started off um, with Mike Pacheco um, in Excel, a band that I used to go see at uh, Christ the King Battle of Bands back in the back in the late '80s. Um, they used to, you know, do Metallica covers, and you know, the place was always packed when they played the Battle of the Bands. Every every metalhead in the neighborhood was just like Excel, Excel, Excel. Oh, they played Metallica songs, you know, to a T, and. And uh, they were just had a really good name out, and it's just like it's an honor for me to be not only be friends with these guys, but like be playing on the same stage with them. You know, they they were playing the, the Battle of Bands, and before, like right when I first picked up a guitar, so it was like wow. <laughs> if I can remember correctly, uh, Helmet, who was a good friend of mine, we grew up together. He told me he had a drum set. I was like, cool, maybe I play guitar. So before you knew it, me and Helmut were jamming in the basement, you know. Anyway, uh, Helmut's cousin, Steve, was a bass player. And uh, we got Billy. We took him in as a guitar player. And that's when we started the band Excel. And then I think maybe five months later, we played Christ the King High School. It was our first show ever. <laughs> They wound up kicking us off after four songs because the crowd got too rowdy. They were breaking chairs and shit. And I think a couple months later, we wound up playing uh, this place called, uh, another high school place called Our Lady of Lords. Before the show, the people at Our Lady of Lords said, no cursing. And we said, oh, okay. Just for that, you're getting on the Then we played Christ the King, like maybe another three months after that, everybody was screaming for that song. It was amazing how the, it's just, word just spread about this one stupid song and one stupid night. It was like wildfire, man. And after we uh, played some of the shows with Christ the King and stuff like that, we decided we wanted to get another guitar player because Billy made a lot of mistakes at the shows. At that point, Helmet was serious about it, Mike was serious about it, I was serious about it. Excel was basically feeling people out and then we took it to the next level. Mortar Remains is just amazing. Musically, I can't I don't know of anybody locally that was better. It was great to play with them, but it was kind of like, wow, we got a, you know, we got a lot to live up to, kind of, you know, kind of thing, because they would just, you know, tear up the stage. I mean, they were just, they were phenomenal. They're fun to watch. They're really fun to watch, and they get the crowd going. They got a great presence. They look good, you know, and uh, they pretty much tear it up on stage. It makes me want to fucking jam, you know. Yeah, Modern Remains definitely ruled the scene at the time, man. They, they were the biggest draw. They had. Loyal fans, not like it was a band and crowd, it was all one. When um, Excel was very popular and we started to get, we started to become known as a Metallica cover band and they started to call us Excelica. I didn't like that personally, I thought I was like, fuck this, you know, we gotta have our own identity. So we were fishing around for names for a while. Um, I think we had, we had, before we were called More Remains, I think we were called Transgression. And then Helmer went to the, T TSS, they had a book section, and the name of a book was Mortal Remains, and he comes back, he's like, how about Mortal Remains? I'm like, it's better than transgression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were basically the same band. Once Excel was dead, we had to start all over again. That was pretty loud for seven people. Yay. Yeah.